How much has this trial cost you? It's cost us roughly £8,000. And how do you feel about that? Now, I have had some fantastic comments under my TikTok videos when I've talked about the Cray Twins in the past. I blame the fact that people refuse to do their own research after watching Legend because they fancy Tom Hardy. If you don't know me, I'm History of London, and I recently made a video on TikTok about notorious gangsters Ronnie and Reggie Cray and their incestuous relationship. Don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram and TikTok if you're into that. The Cray twins were not sweet young men who helped old ladies cross the road with their shopping. They were responsible for brutal assaults, arson, armed robberies, extortion and protection rackets, which involved targeting innocent East End shopkeepers and threatening them with violence until they paid them a regular fee. Most know them for their ruthless murders of Jack the Hat McVitty and Georgie Cornell, but I'm here to tell you about the hidden aspect of their lives that doesn't seem to be spoken about, Reggie's first wife, Frances Shee. Frances was born in Hoxton in 1943. Her brother Frank worked for the Cray Twins firm in the 1960s, and she was first introduced to them through him when she was just 16. Reggie became obsessed with her despite their nine-year age difference and began writing to her from Wandsworth Prison. These letters have survived, and we can actually see how Reggie began as any abuser would. Sweet and friendly, but after their engagement, growing controlling and constantly berating her for not writing to him enough. When the pair tied the knot, Frances was just 22, while Reggie was 31. While on their honeymoon in Athens, Frances alleged that Reggie wouldn't touch her. Some have even speculated that the pair never actually consummated their marriage. Which leads me to condemn just how wrongfully legend portrayed the abuse experienced by Frances Shee. Frances's family was left absolutely mortified after watching the film, as the production team for Legend didn't even bother to get in touch to see if they were portraying Frances accurately. Her aunt dismissed Frances's inner monologue in the film as being the director's vivid imagination. As far as we know, Reggie never actually R-worded Frances. That was merely a lazy plot device that really reflects Hollywood's fetishization of the abuse of women. The reality of Frances' treatment at the hands of Reggie Cray was much different. Frances' diary offers us an enormous insight into what she actually went through. It is possible that a friend suggested that she record her husband's behaviours should she need to go to the police. Reggie verbally abused Frances with alarming regularity, telling her to shut her mouth and threatening to make her suffer. According to Ronnie Cray's biographer, John Pearson, Reggie also talked about killing her often. He told her lurid tales of affairs with hostesses at his clubs, and it has even been alleged that he had relations with a woman of the night as she lay in bed beside him. According to Frances's diaries, Reggie reportedly deliberately cut his hand open and forced Frances to let him drip the blood onto her. There have been rumours of him pushing her out of a moving car, and even making her feel unsafe in her own home by sleeping next to her with a flick knife under his pillow. Frances's reliance on illegal substances which she bought on the street was most likely exacerbated by the abuse. When she suffered a mental breakdown and was admitted to hospital for some rest, Reggie reportedly screamed at her as he drove her there. Frances left Reggie shortly thereafter, allegedly requesting electric shock therapy at Hackney Hospital in order to forget the months of psychological torture he had inflicted upon her. But Frances could not escape the abuse. Reggie terrified her, turning up at her flat unannounced and having her followed daily. Frances took her own life at just 23, just before the couple were due to go to court in order to annul their marriage on the grounds of non-consummation. However, Reggie's prison lover, Bradley Allardyce, has claimed that Reggie admitted that his brother, Ronnie, murdered Frances out of sheer jealousy. According to John Pearson, Ronnie even revealed that the twins had an intimate relationship during their teenage years due to internal battles with their sexuality. What is even more concerning are the rumours of Ron and Reg Cray trafficking children for MPs in The Rich and Famous. Even Jimmy Savile was said to be involved. There is footage of Francis referring to Reggie as a bacon bonce, meaning predator, behind his back. Is it possible that she found out about the ring and was conveniently disposed of? 
Despite reverting to her maiden name by deed poll, Frances was buried in the Cray family plot after spending the last year of her life trying to escape their loveless marriage. What do you think? Was Frances murdered? And did Ronnie and Reggie Cray get up to a bit of how's your father with one another?